Hey guys, Do It At A Dime here. So this video is a complete pantry makeover on a small budget. I'm always looking for spaces that are unique and different from other pantries I've organized before and this was at my friend's house and she felt that her pantry became a catch-all for a bunch of different things, some of them that didn't even belong in the pantry and she felt like she didn't have a lot of space or not enough space and I feel like a lot of people run into this problem. They feel like their pantry becomes overwhelmed. It's hard to decide what needs to go where, especially if it's a multi-purpose zone. So I'm going to take you through and show you step by step how you could take a space like this and transform Form it. Step one, the idea phase. I drew out a general outline for how I wanted the pantry to look. I went to the Dollar Tree and sent her a text message of exactly what she needed to get from the store. Then I came over to her house and we cleared the entire space so she could assess exactly what she had and we even got the little people involved. And we get this, Mommy! Yep, we got it. And a few things we weren't expecting to find. Uh, body. Pantry body! What? Don't worry, it was unused. The next step was to take all the containers I purchased from the Dollar Tree, a few things from Walmart and the hardware store, and lay it out to make sure it would all fit. And check out these tags I found from the dollar spot at Target. They were $1 for four. They've got burlap on them and a little string. I think they are so cute. Here we're doing our standard labeling and putting everything in organized bins so now she can find exactly what she needs and she's not overbuying. My favorite part of this makeover are these glass mason jars that you can buy at Walmart. They're half gallons and they're great for storing dry ingredients you buy all the time. So again, here is the before and the after. It was incredible to see how much space she really had once she took the time to categorize and reassess what was in the pantry. So here are some tips I think you're gonna love. Don't spend money on expensive risers, just use two by fours. You can see that we bought three of them. It's easiest to cut them in half and you can stack them up to create your own risers and they fit the half gallon mason jars perfectly. Now she's using these for dry ingredients that she buys all the time and that's the best way to keep them fresh. And on the other side, she could keep all of those extra condiments and easily see exactly what she has. Another favorite tip of mine is to use these inexpensive milk crates. You can find these at Target and Walmart. Because they're so sturdy and really high quality, they're great for storing on the floor of a pantry. Here she's keeping extra serveware, and she also keeps lunch boxes in the bottom of them. These are fantastic and inexpensive. Definitely use the space behind the bins for vases or those extra items, and if you keep lighter items in front, they're really easy to access. Up on top, she keeps all of her cleaning supplies and things that she really needs to keep out of reach of the children, and I would definitely recommend having a party supply bin or those extra things that are nice and light at the top of the pantry. In the middle is a great spot for snacks and miscellaneous. Again, I love these dollar store bins. You guys have seen me use these so many times, and I can't get over how cute these labels are. Don't you love them? Wire shelves are tricky because items fall through, so lining them is a great idea, and here she's storing our cookbooks. I approve of the dining on a dime one. And she's got the rest of her baking supplies and snacks all in this area, and the best part is her kids can easily access this if they're ever hungry, so it makes life a lot easier. Don't throw the baby out with the bath water. She had these pretty bins already, and they were perfect in the space, even though they're a little bit off-white. So she's got one for those extra overflow items and all of her protein powders, and trash bags down at the bottom. This makeover was so easy to do. I completed this in under two hours and it really changed the space and how it's gonna function for their family. So take a little bit of time and a little bit of money and see if some of these tips can apply to you even if your space isn't exactly like this. I hope that you found this video inspiring and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.